Welcome back. We are here with Jeff Daniels. Now, Jeff, we've been doing a thing on the show uh, called a Late Late yeah. Show and Tell, where we ask our guests if they could share something with us from their home that we may otherwise never get to see. Do you have something you'd like to share with us tonight? I do. Um, I don't know if you're aware, I was in the movie Dumb and Dumber. And we absolutely Thank are you. aware. Thank you. Please, please stay seated. When we were shooting that, there's, of course, the, uh, the uh, uh, chairlift scene where I'm on the chair and my tongue gets stuck to the yes. pole. Uh, Here's a picture, a picture from the movie, <laughs> right? OK? <laughs> we made 12 tongues. Because that, of course, isn't my real tongue. I, it doesn't stretch that far. So this is one of the tongues. Oh, wow. That they made. That there was a piece that you would put in, and, and it had an upper and a, a fit your mouth, and then it had a little screw hole, and you would literally screw the tongue in, and then it flipped. <laughs> so, that is sensational. What a, that's, this is my favorite show and tell. Is it true, Jeff? I heard once that your, your agents begged you not to do Dumb and Dumber. Is that true? Yes, there, were, there was a conversation the night before I flew out to start rehearsals where three agents got on the phone and two of them said, we're going to stop you. You're not going to do this. It will ruin your career. Uh, Jim Carrey is very talented, and with all due respect, Jeff, he's going to act you off the screen. I said, okay, um, maybe, but I think if there are three scenes. There's the chairlift with the tongue on the pole. There's the snowball in the head, and then there's the toilet scene. I said, Jim's not in any of those. Unless they cut him out of the movie, I'm going to score. So I'm good to go. And, and I said, uh, my decision, I'm going to do it, and I'm glad I did. Jim's been a friend for, for life. I just read his, I did the audio book for his memoirs. We've been, I'm so glad I did it uh, for so many reasons. I tell you why I think Dumb and Dumber works right, is because I think Jim Carrey, obviously, is a brilliant actor, but first and foremost, you know, he's done stand-up, he's done comedy, all those things. And I think there are many other films where a casting director or a director might look to cast another comedian. But casting um, sort of a... just an absolutely grounded-in-truth actor is the very thing that makes it work, I think. It's what Jim wanted. Jim, right. Jim knew that, you know, comedians will try to top each other. Yes. And Jim said, I need somebody who's going to make me listen. I'm a solo performer. I kind of run and gun, but I need someone to, to, it's two people. It's not just me. And then smartly, you want Jim Carrey to be Jim Carrey. You want him to be that comic tornado that he is. And instead of competing with him, let him lead. He's going to lead anyway. Yeah. And you want him to. So just be the puppy on the leash. Just be the guy who follows. Let Jim lead, and you're the follower. So I was like on a half-second delay in every scene. He, you know, Lloyd would go, Harry, what? <laughs> you know, you just, you just you, you're constantly behind. And it's whatever Lloyd wants, that's where we go. We're going to go off the cliff. OK, you know? <laughs> And, that, and that, that made it work. Thank you so much for sharing that. I, I absolutely loved seeing that. Reggie, do you have a question for our guest this evening? I do. Uh, tonight's query goes to... Uh, Mr. Daniels. Yes. Yes. Um, what, what is the most optimistic thing you've ever experienced? Waking up in the morning? <laughs> Reg? That's actually the only answer. It's the only answer. It's completely correct. Thanks, ladies and gentlemen, the incredible Jeff Daniels. We'll be right back.